Durham priest who was missing for days is now a murder investigation. Good evening. I'm Sean Maroney and I'm Melanie Sanders. Thanks for joining us. Kent Hinkson was last seen Monday in Durham's Woodcroft Shopping Center. His body was found Saturday in the Eno River State Park. WNCN Shamiriel Ratliff is live in Orange County where Hinkson's accused killer has his first court appearance. Shamiriel. Yeah, Matthew Reed didn't have much to say to the judge today, but those who know him have a lot to say, and it's mainly that he's not capable of this sort of crime. You have a right to remain silent whatever you say can be used against you in court. Matthew Reed replied yes quietly to Judge Lunsford Long in court Monday afternoon. The 36-year-old faces first-degree murder charges in the death of 71-year-old Durham priest Kent Hinkson. Authorities say Reed led them to Hinkson's body on Saturday. The former priest, father and friend, was reported missing a week ago. I cannot believe that he's in jail for murder. Like, this is not the guy I know. I just can't see him doing it. I'm just having a hard time with it. I just can't see Matt killing somebody, much less a priest. Amy Barber lived next door to Reed at the Pines of Ashton apartment complex in Raleigh. She woke up to the news that her former neighbor was behind bars facing serious charges. I never saw him in a, you know, be aggressive or anything. I mean, he was just like a sweetheart. He was just a tall teddy bear. While investigators have yet to reveal a motive, Barbara says the only thing left to do is pray. My prayers go out to the families on both sides. You know, um, it's sad when anybody loses their life, especially in this fashion. So my heart goes out to the clergyman and his family, um, both family and church family. And my heart goes out to Matt's family. Now, Reed is due back in court on August 25th. He's being held under no bond. Live in Orange County, Shamiriel Ratliff, WNCN News. Thanks, Shamiriel. There will be a memorial service to celebrate the